Hello and welcome to Non-Stop Wrestling Chat. My name is Barry and today we are here for the NWC show. This week in wrestling, episode 82. I'm joined by myself. It's not going to be too much of a long episode, guys, but it is rant filled. So, we're going, I've got quite a lot to go through today. I want to talk about Sasha and Noma, Naomi. I want to talk about Austin Theory. I want to talk about Jordana Gracie's comments about Benoit. And there's a few other things that I'll throw in there as well. So stay tuned, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and that beautiful notification bell and I'm going to roll the intro. Right guys, let's get into this. So this week in wrestling there has been a lot of stuff. Obviously we've got the Vince and paying 12 million to get a blowjob or that kind of stuff that's came out. It's fucking weird, do you know what I mean? But... We're going to stay away from that. We're not going to sit and rabble on about that kind of shit. Um, what I do really want to spend quite a lot of time on is Sasha and Naomi. The situation happening with them. I think it's... Obviously, we don't know if they've been fully released yet or whatever because no been statements released anywhere at the time of me filming this anyway. Um, I think this would be a cool way if they could somehow work it to a new NWO style, like... We're better than these shitty titles you aren't giving us this this situation that we should be in. This is like something like that. I mean, like we're going to do our own thing and they say like they take over NXT or something like that and they do their own thing. I think that'd be really a cool way to keep a different brand going. Do you know what I mean? Like they bring back an ECW and they take it over our WCW and they take over or something like that. I think it'd be cool to see them do something. I mean, then get big enough to do like, a takeover, a SmackDown takeover, of, and it gets. Guys jump over and it splits the, the roster. Is the internet is talking about just now? They create their own internal war, and I think that would be a fantastic thing. But if it is true that they're leaving, I would say I would love to see Sasha and Naomi go to Impact. Um, I don't want to see them in AEW and get lost over there. I want to see them go to Impact. And you guys know I'm not a big Impact fan. I used to be, but they've not really done anything for. A long time. I mean, they're not really. They have good matches and stuff, but nothing really to get you right into it. I would love to see like a Sasha Banks or Naomi over there and impact and really help that women's division a little bit more. And obviously do AEW whatever, but I really think Impact's probably the best place for them. Now moving on from from that, but sorry, no, no moving on. Let's stay at this the NWO style stuff. Imagine if like you've got. You've got Banks, Naomi, you get a few other women coming over there as well, a Charlotte Flair. Then you get like a few guys, like even I like an Austin Theory and AJ and that kind of stuff. And then they use the the NXT roster there and they take over NXT and they do this whole big story. I think that would be really cool, but that's probably not what's going to happen. That's just me thinking goodness, hoping then, but it's not going to happen. Moving to Austin Theory is another little rant I want to have. Now, I know a lot of you love this guy. I know a lot of you are happy that he won money in the bank. This guy is shouldn't be anywhere near the money in the bank at this stage. Um, same Riddle shouldn't he, doesn't he need to win the money in the bank. It's short-sighted. Riddle winning the money in the bank would create longevity for Austin Theory in the long run, making it more believable for him to win a two years from now, maybe next year or the year after. That's more believable. Riddle winning the title, winning the money in the bank and cashing the title in this year, taking it to Mania, him and Randy Orton going in Mania, Orton winning the title, Austin Theory wins the money in the bank next year and then he wins it off him, then he cashes in against him at a SummerSlam or something like that or he wins the Rumble and he goes on to challenge for the other title, whatever. There's something that could have been there, could have created longevity, but it didn't. They wanted to go for the short. This guy, we want to push, and we're going for the short thing. And I, we're more than about creating new talent. Guys, this isn't a new talent. This guy shouldn't be in this position yet. I'm not saying ever. I'm saying yet. We don't need another quickly push talent. This isn't like Edge back when he got his push. This is like a John Cena. This is like... Everybody else that we've had forced on a throw that we didn't want to see. This is the same thing that they're going to do here. The selfie gimmick needs to get dropped. They all had, all, there's so much that has to change and so much that has to be worked on and how to really get the character 
into that position. This is if you took John Cena when he still wore the shorts before the jorts and you just went, you're going to be a world champion. It doesn't make any sense. I think it'll probably be a failed cash-in, to be honest with you. And if that is it, can he recover from it? I don't know. But uh, I would have loved to have seen Riddle get the win. Riddle goes on a take the belt off a Roman or Brock, they have a match, Randy comes back, challenges him, then at WrestleMania, Randy Orton wins about, gets that 16th, 17th, whatever it is, title, and then we get um, Randy Orton against uh, Austin Theory, after that we get Riddle having a rematch, and Riddle goes against Theory or a triple threat or something, I mean you could have worked on this over the whole year, and let Austin just build him, getting good matches, and just being a really cool competitor that you want to see at the minute I don't want to see him and I think that's the kind of like everybody's just missing the point as in oh they've created this new guy for nothing there's nobody else like, he wins the belt and, and what do you believe Austin Theory can go up against a Roman Reigns or a Drew McIntyre or a Brock Lesnar no you don't which is still the same thing they've no built this guy right and I don't think it's ever going to change my mind. If he wins it, it's going to be a joke championship run anyway. So that's my mind and my rant made up about that. Now moving to Jordana Grace for another rant, guys. She says Ben couldn't compete in today's wrestling. Um, you wouldn't be able to remember the matches, blah, blah, blah. That's shit, right? Chris Benoit, taking out what he done, which I don't think you can. I don't think you can take out what he done, right? I think that's... Uh, He's the lowest form of scum in the planet for what he done, right? He shouldn't have done that. He's he's just fucking disgusting for doing that. And thinking that that's a viable option is just completely away in your fucking brain. You're a loony and you should have been put to death anyway. Um, but this guy, I don't want to say but, this guy is probably one of the greatest wrestlers that's ever tied up those boots and went in there. What he done, he's ruined it. And... And that way, I agree with Jordana Grace. He shouldn't be in the conversation at the minute is the greatest stress of all time because he, what he done it is going to ruin it. The guy is the great one of the greatest stress of all time. Had fantastic matches, beautiful work. And if he was here today, still wrestling, if he was in his prime wrestling today, he'd be the best in the world. He would be world champion, AEW, would eat him up and stuff like that as well. So... You can't say something. I mean, somebody wrestling for Impact Wrestling that barely anybody outside of the niche wrestling community know. It's not really, it's not really a an argument. Really, is it? The guy is clearly a fantastic wrestler and put on some of the best matches of the early two thousands. But he fucked it all by being a cunt. It's, it's. You can say this guy had. This is the problem with today's world as well, guys. I'm gonna go a wee bit deep here. It does. It does no. It's black and white. There's no this and that. There's no. There's no. You're a cunt. But I like what you say here. There's none of that. It's just you're just a complete asshole. The guy is an asshole. Shouldn't have done what he done. That whole point of his life. He should. He shouldn't be recognised on the network. He shouldn't be in the hall of fame. He shouldn't be all of this kind of stuff. But you can't take away the fact that he was a fantastic wrestler right up until that point. I mean, you can't take that away. And staying on the, the, the idea of, like, everybody has to try and a one-upmanship stuff like that at the minute, and it's just so shite, and it's what's ruining wrestling, do you know what I mean? It's not even, like, a good one-upmanship. It's just kind of, like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's, I Anyway, AEW had um, the John Moxley and the winner of that Battle Royale thing, the two ring thing that they done which just I <clears throat> um, that was a really good match I enjoyed do you know what I enjoyed most of the stuff that they've done I've totally forgot the guy's name I think it's Brody King or something I can't remember I forgot his name um, <clears throat> but having Darby Allen against each other I think is going to work pretty well I would have liked to have seen them maybe team up team up more and stuff like that but the certain way AEW is Doing too many tag matches. Now I know tag match drag wrestling is a thing that they want to really do, but they're doing a triple threat tag match and it doesn't really make any sense. Dude, I've got a ton of other stuff coming up and I'm excited for, but I don't know guys. Maybe it's just me getting jaded in my old age, right? Right now, on the TV that I have there in my office, I'm watching 
the WCW Nitro, uh, July 1997. I'm watching it for the the review that I'm doing. I'm enjoying this. I'm watching Raw. I know. I'm enjoying it. I've no really enjoyed a Raw this year. I've no enjoyed a SmackDown this year. Um, I catch the clips and I don't really watch it. But guys, this is my rant. Wrestling is my passion. It's still something that I love. It's something that I really, really enjoy. And I hold on hope that it's going to get fantastic again. Now, I'm not one of these guys that's going to lie to you and say that if you're, you're not a wrestling fan, if you don't watch the Japanese shit, if you don't fucking watch this independent show that got six people at it, I don't care what you watch. You love WWE. You love that. Everybody loves professional wrestling in different ways. That's the reason why we're here. And don't let Twitter or fucking Facebook or Reddit or anything like that piss you off on what you're watching, guys. It's it's all fake online. Everybody's fake online. Nobody knows what they're... People are rabble on. People kid on, they know what they're talking about. And people kid on, they're in higher positions what they are. Majority of these people have no idea what goes into being a wrestler, what goes into running a wrestling show, and what goes into just... The training to become it, I know I've done it, I broke my neck doing it, I helped my friend run his wrestling show, we travelled a little bit with it, and I don't talk about this much on the, the channel because I don't want to bring that part of my life back into this period, because I, I, I don't need to talk about it, it's my, it's my personal experience and my memories and my things that I've got that I hold close to my heart, I don't need to tell you all about it, just like everything else, I'm quite a secret of man in my life guys, but don't let Twitter this make you know what to be a wrestling fan. If you want to only enjoy old wrestling, go enjoy it. If you want to only enjoy AEW or TNA or if you want to just watch 2013, whatever, go and enjoy what you want, guys. So, the social media stuff isn't real. It's it's all fake. It's all a bunch of people that probably got nothing better to do with their time than do it. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy this channel. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe and that beautiful notification bell. Like I said, it's a quick video today. There's no millions to talk about but next week I'll be back with This Week in Wrestling I think I've got a few SummerSlam videos either this week coming or the week after um, and good news for you guys if you stay to the end I got my new job I got officially offered it I yeah, got my contract I yeah, got my official start date where I'm going to be going all that kind of stuff and uh, yeah so there's going to be a lot of changes coming guys there might be somebody else coming on to the channel um, I'll still be here recording Maybe a little bit less, but I'll still be here. But there might be somebody else coming to the channel and giving a female perspective um, of their kind of their kind of things. So it might be growing the network. So I hope you enjoy it, guys. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, that bell, notification bell. Share this to every single person that you know so they can subscribe as well. And let's grow this channel. But anyway, guys, I'm going to love yous and leave yous. It's sunny outside. There's music in the city centre. I'm going to go and enjoy it. See you later.